Hello students. Today we're going to be making a tiny little art museum. So we are going to be creating a map of your own art museum. If you have one of these pages, then we'll use that. But those of you that are at home, you're going to just use a plain piece of paper, just like this. This is an example of what I had made. So this is my tiny little art museum. The name of my museum is the Great Art Museum, the Greats Art Museum. You can name yours whatever you want. The sections of my gallery are painterly, abstract, and realistic art. So I used the painting genre sheet that you can see attached in Schoology. So I looked at the different um, artist pictures that are also attached in Schoology and decided which ones I wanted to have in my art gallery. So in this section, I use the painterly art and put Monet and Van Gogh. So for this next section, I used realistic art with Michelangelo, Renoir, Leonardo da Vinci, and also Degas. And then for my last section, I did abstract art with Picasso and Kandinsky, Dali. So with my paper, whether you are using the tiny little art museum paper or a plain piece of paper, you are gonna wanna try mapping out your art museum. You need to have at least three rooms for you, your museum since it is a tiny museum. Now in my first example, I had nice squared off rooms. This one, I decided to kind of go a little silly with it. And it's your museum. You can design it however you would like, as long as it has three rooms. So I'm erasing a section to add a door, or you can add this kind of wedged look for doors. Either one works for me. So I'm just going to continue to do this until I get my three rooms. Make sure that you add doors on each of your rooms. This one's gonna have two doors. Once you have all three rooms set up, you wanna number each section. So I know each section and what is gonna be in those sections. Now I need to decide what is gonna go into my art gallery. Remember to look back at those PDF files that I attached on Schoology to decide what artists you want in your museum and what genre they match up to. So I'm making this room still life art. This one is going to have portraits. And my last one is going to have landscapes. Now I need to decide what artists fit in those categories. Once you decide what artist you want, go ahead and write them in to each section. So I'm gonna put Frida Kahlo in the portraits paintings. I'm gonna put Vincent Van Gogh in my still lifes. And then in my hall of landscape paintings, I'm gonna put Claude Monet because he has some very beautiful landscape paintings. Now I'm ready to give my museum a name. I'm gonna name this the Museum of Genres. Next, you want to add the sections of your gallery. You wanna tell me what each section is. So I'm gonna put still life, portraits, and landscapes because that's what makes up my art gallery. If you really, really feel like it, you can add some color, but you do not have to. I'm just gonna outline my sections so it kind of makes them stand out a little bit more. But again, this is just optional. If you have any questions, make sure that you please let me know and I will try and help you the best that I can. And I hope you all enjoy being a curator and creating your own museum. Best of luck.